Mr. Agrawal, uh, Manish ji, how can generative AI empower Indian Indian enterprises from large corporations to MSMEs to strengthen resilience and global competitiveness? Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you very much to the Vaisma team to calling me in inviting for this discussion. Uh, I've been working with Fortune 50 companies at the enterprise level, C-suite level, while I was working with McKinsey, BCG, PwC, and Headstone. I was helping them to navigate through disruption and uh, working with the difficult times and how to do the change management. Now coming back to the questions which we were talking about, how MSMEs can take the help of Gen AI. The recent study from MIT says that 95% Gen AI projects are failing. They're not giving the expected ROI because they have not been executed properly. We have to take care about how we involve, involve people. There are some key regions behind that. There are the missing dots. We are not including the POCs are happening, R&Ds are happening between the BU, business units. Legacy systems are not connected. They're not talking to each other. So when we scale to the enterprise level, they get failed. So basically we have to involve people in those POCs. We have to take care of the uh, security concerns. There are a lot of security concerns around the AI, Gen AI. We have to take care at the POC level, we get successful, but at the enterprise level, they get failed. <coughs> MSE, MSMEs have the doubt in the mind in terms of the cost implications. It is very costly. It is a luxury for Fortune 500 companies. Accessibility is a concern. Affordability is a concern. Security is a concern. Keeping those factors in mind, develop some of the unique solutions which are going to do big bang on the enterprise level at the bigger market which could be generative BI, generative ETL, generative QA, and all those things. So we have to keep those factors in mind, and I'm sure then MSME adoption will increase very soon. Thank you, thank you.